Science is always cool. Science is cool because every day you can come in and satisfy your curiosity. You know, every day you can say, huh, what am I going to learn new today? And what's someone going to tell me new today? And quite often people come to your office and tell you something that no one has ever known in the whole history of humanity. I think it's the basic thing is curiosity. It's just, you know, you know, like, I want to know how it works. This, this thing is weird to me. I never saw anything like that. I just want to know how it works. And then, of course, the best way to do that, okay, you can learn about things that are already discovered, but the very interesting thing are the ones that are not discovered yet. So that's it. You don't have to be a nerd to be a scientist. It certainly helps, but you can certainly, uh, you can channel your nerdiness down a really cool direction. The scientists are a bit weird, definitely. <laughs> That's for sure, I mean. We should have social skills, but they are different than the rest of the people. I think the challenge of being a scientist is to communicate what you do in the right way. I don't think a science is my job, for example, this is one thing. It's, my, it's kind of my big hobby that have wrapped me up. That's my big hobby. So scientists often have cool hobbies and I think that's an interesting thing that separates them also is they have really cool hobbies. They might go surfing or they might go windsurfing or they might go sailing or music but they generally will find a, a, a scientist with some other hobby. Hiking, I like it. Biking also. I play in a band so music keeps me busy. I like to go on my bicycle. I was a fencer. I like to go to Neustadt and drink coffee, that's cool. Traveling around Europe. Making pottery. The German beer garden is probably the pinnacle of civilization. I like a lot just to hang out, it's such a beautiful place. When I do artistic uh, things, um, I think it's also, it's the same thing, I'm just curious. I mean, of course I want to create things that are beautiful, but for example in pottery, I'm more interested in uh, the process, how it works, and the, the firing process. So when you burn your pots, and then if you put inside the clay different materials, you get different colors, or you get different texture, or you glaze it, and you use different temperature, you always obtain a different uh, result, so it is science. It's chemistry, actually, and I found it very interesting. And actually, the reason why we have at home our own kill is because we were not allowed to play around <laughs> in the shared kill <laughs> and to make crazy stuff. So this is uh, why we have it, because we wanted to, be, to have the freedom to experiment. So there you go. It's again experimenting. People who like doing music often like doing science and vice versa. I think a lot of people are good at music. I think it's just you've got that kind of mind that somehow is able to focus and obsess for a long time. You know, music is very, very hard business. Hours and hours and hours of practice. You have to be able to put it in. And I suspect the same kind of personality is the same in science. Oh man, it's totally great because um, we, we just play at the parties here. And so we wind up playing for like a hundred or so people at least. And what's really cool about that is it's like a hundred or so of your friends. So there's really just nothing better than, than rocking hard and seeing your friends rock hard with you. Many scientists that do applied, applied science, uh, how can I say not applied science, but ex experimentalists, we like to touch things. We like to mess up with things and to try things. So I think it's also in the artistic side is the same, the same component. Many, many people that do science are also very much interested in photography, for example. I mean, how many electron microscopies or microscopies do photography? It's so much related, right? It's the same thing. You just take a different, you have a different subject. But I like the connection with the cultural activities of the city. All these museums, uh, concerts, um, performances, Hellerau, uh, and tiny bands performing here and there, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, we like to have fun. Mm -hmm. We consider fun to be a key part of creativity. 
people should be relaxed, so we do whatever we can to have people have fun. So I think it's a matter of thinking of work as not a separate from your life, but a key part of your life. To my mind, the coolest thing is there are 400 people in this place, and half of them are from foreign countries, and they're all hanging out in the old East Germany, and they're all having a great time.